Hello, everybody. Hello. It's Rhino. And it's me with terrible hair because I've been swimming. I wear a hat and a bandana. Bandana. <laughs> bandana. <laughs> a bandana to cover that up. But we just got back from Castaway Key, so we are covered in salt and filth and. You know what, though? We figured this is the perfect time to go try the aqueduct here at the Disney, on the Disney Dream. Dream. <laughs> I should know what ship we're on. I've been on it for three days. So we're going to go check that out and see what all the hype is. Now, this aqueduct is a water slide that is clear and goes around the ship, but it also goes off the edge of the ship and comes back on. It's a, I think technically they class it as a water coaster because it goes down and then it pushes you up as well. So... Oh, this will be interesting. I know. So we're going to go upstairs. We're going to check that out and let you know what we think, how long the lines are, all that jazz. So come on. Okay, you can see we stopped for ice cream on the way because there's ice cream over here. But uh, you can see the aqueduct above us here. You're going to go upstairs. Um, there's a little waiting area. We're going to go up those stairs. We're going to see how long the wait is. And hopefully we can just get on this and do this real quick before dinner tonight. What do you think? Are you a little nervous? This looks a little intimidating. I'm excited. I, it, it's the same kind of light ride as Crush and Gusher at Typhoon Lagoon. Uh, but just not as big because it's condensed on the cruise ship. So the nice thing about it is that clear tube. You can see everybody else going through. So I'm looking forward to like the views you can see looking out over the ocean. So I'm afraid of heights and stuff like this, so I hope Oliver's ready to ride with somebody who's going to cry the whole time. Keep much. in mind as well, we're already high up on the cruise ship. This is like the highest you could be on the deck. So when you look out, it's going to look so far above sea level. Yeah, we waited till the boat, the excuse me, the ship pulled out so that we could literally just be surrounded by water. And it gives me a little more hope that at least if we crash out of it, we won't, um, you know, crash to our deaths. We're at least like land in the water. Well, there's no doctors around to help us. Mm. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna finish our ice cream. We're gonna head up there. Okay, so Oliver and I just got off the aqueduct. What did you think of it, Oliver? I was delightfully impressed. They managed to get, you know, quite a few variations of speed in there, which was nice. You go fast, you go slow, you see the sides. Um, yeah, I mean, it, you, you tell them a little lie there, we didn't just get off the one so did we? Oh no, we went on twice, because it's you can do two people per uh, raft. And so we sat, Oliver sat in front of me the first time, I sat in front the second time. Uh, the the ride works very similar to if you've ever done Crush and Gusher at yep. um, Typhoon Lagoon. It kind of like you start out going down the slide, but then it kind of shoots you back up to keep that momentum going. But I think it was a lot of fun. I think the view was actually pretty incredible um, yeah. where you're up there, you know. Um, so I would I would mark this down as a you should do this before you get off the ship for sure. Definitely. Would you say though just the thrills are more intense than they look or less intense? I would say they are less intense than they look. I think it starts out str like a really like, oh, here we go. But once yeah. you make it down that first thing, you kind of are, which I kind of liked, like you had that first pump of energy and then after that you you had a little bit of a scenery moment. Yeah, I kind of agree. I feel like this is one that even the more like adventurous grandmother might go on, like yeah. if she wanted to. So it's it's not scary at all. And the benefit of it is like, you know, these amazing views that you get. So yeah, um, yeah I was very, very impressed. And uh, yeah, so I think this is one for all ages for sure. And so don't let the view of it like turn you off. Like I'm afraid of heights. And I realized when I went to go up and take a photo or a video up there, the boat's moving. So I was like, oh, I'm so extra nervous because I'm up high and I'm moving. But, um, you know, it, it really was a lot of fun and I'm really happy I did it. And you really can't beat this view, especially when you're at sea and there's just no land around you and you're just, you're on that thing and you can kind of just get the full scope of that Disney Cruise Line magic a little bit. Yeah. So that's on the, we are again, we're on the Disney Dream. And that's the aqueduct. So check it out. If you've done it before, let us know what you think. Um, would you do it? 